I think today is actually the first day I'm finally back on a normal upload schedule. I skipped filming yesterday because we just drove back from Oldo all the way back to Ramstein and we really didn't do much else besides that. So I think today's the first day I'm filming and uploading the next day and back on a normal schedule after like almost two weeks. But good morning. Good morning. We're heading to housing right now because we signed the papers on Monday, but we had to put them through uh, housing so they get approved, which thankfully they did. So the house is still good in ours. Uh, we're still scheduled for Friday uh, tomorrow to pick up the keys and then we're actually probably moving in on the 19th and at, not actually tomorrow because um, like the Wi-Fi in the house isn't set up and like, nothing else is really set up in the house yet so while even though the Wi-Fi in the hotel room is super super slow and it'll take me like 12 hours to upload a video it's still better than nothing so we'll probably wait till the 19th um, to actually move in all of our stuff or what we're gonna do we're gonna move in like small stuff during the week but before we actually like physically move in we're actually staying there um, will probably be the 19th, but that's not bad. I'm still excited for it. I'm just glad I got approved because even though we signed for it on Monday, it could have got denied in housing, which it didn't. So thank you housing for not doing that to us because that would have sucked. So up here on the right side of the road, there's a little junkyard I saw and they have like three piece wheels and stuff sitting outside so I can see it a little bit. There's tons of wheels out there. So we're stopping by the other today. All right, so we are moving right along today. Actually, everything's going very, very smooth so far. So all housing contracts have been done. We're leaving FMS right now. We got our temporary furniture scheduled. Like I said, the house has a lot of really, really nice old, like super awesome vintage furniture. They're leaving it for us. And there's a built-in kitchen table, so we don't really need that. But we got a couch, um, a little like um, a lounge chair, coffee table, just a few extra things, and then extra bed for her sister. But for the most part, we're doing pretty good. So that's scheduled for July 2nd. All of our stuff and like rest of our clothes and all like the toolbox and stuff is scheduled for the 28th of this month. But that's when it comes in. It's like 10 days of processing, so we won't see that probably till July as well. But doing good. And what Miley scheduled for what? September, October. It's I don't gonna know. be at least three months before she's here. But she still is on the way, which is good. It's just gonna be a long time until she's actually here. But once she's here, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Go to the Nurburgring. We actually we were like right by. The Nurburgring yesterday and I wanted to just go so bad but we had a long drive home but very soon we'll go over there and have some fun take the R32 there ah oh, it's gonna be a lot of fun there's a variant right there we stopped at the BX to get food real quick and we learned very quickly that you don't want to be at the BX for food between like 11 to 1 because everyone's taking lunch and the place is an actual madhouse so we learned a lesson but oh there's my Mercedes again oh I love this thing Oh, it's so nice. I can have that? Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow I can have that. This already is nice too. Okay, so since we passed on the uh, the TDI variant, obviously the hunt for a variant is still going. Um, it's, like I said, it's very, very hard to find one that has low miles and no rust or body work or some sort. I'm trying to find the very best starting platform as physically possible because I get, when I bought my car the first time, I knew I wanted that body style, but I, knowing not, do not want to buy a VR6 in the very beginning, but um, also you want to try and start with the best platform as possible. So I can not have to do rust repair, fender swapping, bumper swapping, damage, you know, or, or dent repair. I want to have the most solid, as mint possible starting platform as I possibly can. I actually think I may have just found it. It's a very good price. It's a, um, I think it's a 1997 uh, Golf 3 variant GT Bon Jovi edition. Um, it's green metallic paint, has the fender flares on it, the GT side molding is a front lip, um, the Bon Jovi like steering, or the, the shift knob I think. I'll show you the picture in a second, but like the car itself is, is super mint. It's just over 100,000 miles on the car. A uh, time belt was done less than 10,000 miles ago. The car is already tube inspected and already passed. We can just cut that entire thing out, which is really nice. Um, the car is a 1.6. It's the smaller, one of the smaller engines. I, I wanted a TDI or VR6 just for either having a turbo and great fuel mileage or a VR6 is obviously a VR6. But I will say I can deal with a 1.6, a smaller engine, if the starting platform is perfect. And this car looks perfect. Like it says there's no rust on the car and I can't see rust anywhere. It's got good tires, uh, new suspension and brakes have already been done. Time melt's been done. The paint looks great. The seats look great. Everything on this car looks perfect and the price range is like exactly where we want to be. So if we can get this, I'm gonna try and call here a little while. I might have Alex call 
So Alex can speak German to them. I don't know if they speak English or not, but Alex can speak German to them and get it all set up. It's about an hour and 45 minutes from here, so it's pretty close compared to the last job we just did. Um, but yeah, if I can find one that has like the best starting platform, so all I have to focus on is just modifications and I can skip paint repair and dent repair and rust repair, that's what I really, really want to do. And to find a car that has no rust is definitely what I want to get. So if it's a good starting platform, we'll go with that. And then later on, we can always do a VR6 swap or whatever engines, what we can do to it knowing the body of the car is good to go. If you buy a car with rust, it's just gonna get worse. Granted, the TDI that we just saw had only a little bit of rust on the fenders, but the other fender was dented up and I wouldn't have had to do replacing stuff, which isn't the end of the world, but it's still another step and added money to the car. If I could skip all that stuff, that's ideal. All right, so let's go through this real quick. You can see this is a brand new listing. It just popped up today. This is a Volkswagen Golf 3 variant, 1.6 Bon Jovi, and then Ozzy has the, the tube inspection, which is really nice. Even though we don't need to use the German tube before I can drive a car on the street, even back to base, it has to be tube approved. So that being done already saves us a lot of time and some money. So let's go on this one here. The car itself, it's kind of hard to see. Um, it's that dark green. I don't know if it's like either sequoia green or like dragon green, but it's a very nice dark green. Uh, the car has, um, it's also a GT model as well, so it has the texture fenders on top, it has the fender flares, and the GT side molding and side skirt. So this car already has like all the extra pieces that would need, like, it looks really good. You can see right here it actually says special, it's in Bon Jovi on the bottom side, you can kind of see it's kind of dark. Side of the car, the paint looks great, there's no dents, I can see it anywhere. There's no rust, it has the red and smoke taillights on it, and it says Golf GT in the corner. Factor wheels on it, good tires. You can see you can see the um, side skirts there, GT side molding and fender flares. All this stuff wouldn't be uh, trim painted, but once it was trim painted, like back to nice, uh, like glossy black, this car would look. I mean, it already looks great, but it would look even better than that. There are seat covers, but I can still see the bolstering. Uh, seats look good. Radio works. AC works. Dash look, looks good. Has electric um, windows all around. It's manual, of course, with the Bon Jovi shift knob. Ooh, big thing. It has the OEM Mark III carpet floor mats that I've always wanted, and Scardi has them in there, which is, which is awesome. Uh, the factory steering wheel, uh, tires are good, suspension looks good. There's no rust under the car. I do also, though, I will um, kind of pull these fender flares back a little bit and make sure the metal is good. Um, but if the car, I, there's no rust in the car, I don't think it'd be on there, but I do want to check that to make sure. But the car looks great. It's already two, it's already two passed. We can skip all that stuff. Like the car itself looks really, really good. AC works, it has a radio, no cigarette smell inside this car. There's no damage, there's no dents, there's no scratches that I can see, no rust. Already has a front lip, side skirts, uh, fender flares, and the cool GT ones as well. And it's a Bon Jovi edition. So 1.6 is like 101 horsepower, give or take. Not the most fast engine ever, but with a platform that's in this mint condition, we can do anything. So, I like it, and I really like the green a lot. The green's nice. Once this is painted, that looks super, super nice. And then we can just go on with the modifications. With this car, I don't need to do anything. I don't have to do any paint repair, no fender swapping, no bumper swapping. It's just all modifications, and we're just running. And eventually, we want to do an engine swap, we can do that as well. And with the 1.6, it'll have a good fuel mod as well. So, I mean, like, the car looks clean. The car looks really, really clean. Which is, like I said, this kind of car is so hard to find. There's a few that are like this with less miles, but they're like closer to 5,000 euros, which is a lot more money than we want to spend on. But this one in this condition for this price is really, really good. So we shall see. We're going to try to get in contact with them today and uh, see if we can't set this one up. But the car looks good. The car looks really, really good. Found our way to that junkyard. Let's see if they have any like wheels or whatever they have here. I'm not really sure. There's like a cop car mini on a container. I wanted to see this. There's stacks and stacks of wheels. Like, look, power techs and just, oh my god, there's everything out here. These are cleaned up, they could be. Oh, there's some old school uh, snowflakes back there. The, um, Volkswagen ones. Yeah, I Some two piece BBS over there. Oh, there's a lot of wheels here. Like, there's stacks on stacks of wheels. Nice set of uh, 17 inch bore bits. I think it's a set of five, actually. I said there's a cool set of snowflakes back there. There's also this set in four lug, and there's a set also in five lug. It's not real, uh, real three piece, but still, they look pretty cool. There's a lot of wheels here. We've passed this place maybe five or six times, and I always like the piles in here. I just want to stop by and see what they had, but definitely a lot of cool wheels out here. Probably hanging this in the garage somewhere, something simple, but like 
Mercedes wheels, Ronal. I got some TSW on point, being near the E46 wheels. Those are the two pieces I believe. There's so many wheels out here, it's crazy. These honestly look like power techs. I can't confirm or not, but there's one there, there's one there. There's a full set. They look very, very similar to the power tech we saw on the E36 yesterday. Oh man, there's so many wheels. BMW wheels, Mercedes wheels, Volkswagen wheels, some mesh style wheels. They're everywhere. There's a bunch more over here. Ooh. 17 inch uh, Myro, I want to say it is. I can't remember the exact name. Some deeper BMW wheels. Man, the wheels just go on for like days. Look at this. It goes on for days. BMW, <laughs> Jeep wheels, Mercedes. Some like BBS kind of style wheels. Actually, nice. Nice metal soda caps. Wheels for days. These look like the um the Passat VR6 wheels. Those aren't bad. Those are four look too. Dang. Those actually aren't bad. Those look like they're about eight and a half, nine inches wide. Nice, like three inch lip. And they're four lug. Those aren't bad. What are these things? Those aren't bad. Dude, these wheels for days. Mercedes, more be these, these lights probably are nice. Audi. More old school BMW ones. More BBS style. Ooh, actual BBS. Are these RFs? Dude, no, I'd not just find a set of RFs sitting here. No way. This is not a set of, here's actually a set of RFs. Is it a full set? Dude, they're a little beat, but like, we just found a legit set of RFs just sitting in the yard. And there's a full set of Borbits behind you on the same there. Alright, I want this set, I want that set, I'm gonna need this set and this set. <laughs> these are cool, I'll take these two. They look legit. This place is actually like, it's actually insane because like, these aren't the three piece ones, but I'm pretty sure this is just the um the BBS RFs non three piece, but still, really cool wheels. I've never seen the BBS RFs in non three piece. These wheels, can't remember the name, but those are really cool, four lug. Nice wheels. These are actually by Ford in Germany. Uh, the BBS, like the Mark One kind of style wheel. These are actually Azevs. See right there. Azev. Another style I haven't seen before, but another cool wheel. Very nice wheel. These things here. There's a full set of Borbit sitting right here in 15 inch. There's all of these wheels. Like those wheels are pretty sick. There's so many wheels in here. These things, four log 17 inch. Dude, I can't believe how many wheels I'm seeing here. These wheels, more Borbits. These things are sick though. There's actually a name down there. It says Shaper. Focus, focus, please. Shaper. But these are like almost, I would say, nine and a half, ten inches wide, give or take. But they're four lugs, so this would be super awesome wheel for something. They're just everywhere. In the market for some uh, 24s. I'm putting these on my arm. These things are, yeah, for the arm 32? I'm gonna need to cut my fenders so they can fit. Yeah. Ooh, got some three spokes out here. We're gonna do one last walkthrough because I still can't believe it. There's BBS over here, there's these cool things. These wheels look really don't care the name. My Azevs, there's four BBS style wheels. Those, a full set of uh, Borbit type A's, I wanna say, or type B's, I think type A's, with all the center cap and good tires. There's wheels everywhere. Like, I actually cannot believe this. Like they're actually just everywhere. Everywhere. I'm really interested in seeing what um, these actually are and what these are. Those are really cool. Those would be awesome on a variant or something like that. These are actually, yeah, these are 17s and I've been wanting to do 17s and they're four lugs. So for the variant, could be the first set for the variant. These wheels, these wheels, there's wheels just everywhere. It's actually insane. Full set of these things with all the metal uh, center caps. Mercedes wheels, Jeep wheels, like it just doesn't end. It doesn't end. And what's actually insane is I've only been to one junkyard and like one, I guess this is like a wheel junkyard, but like I'm already losing my mind at how much awesome stuff is just literally laying around for me to come get. So as soon as we're in our house and I get the barn up and running and the shop's going like, we're gonna have wheel stuff to sell, refurbished for all of our cars, we're gonna have parts to sell. Man, this is so much stuff. <sighs> it's too much for my brain to take in. Oh my God, there's more. There's wheels everywhere. 
Look, more Borbits. These actually have that Alfa Romeo logo in the center. Ooh, more Powertex. <laughs> There's wheels everywhere. Some stancy wheels, a little bit of a stretch going on there. And they're four lug. These are dope. And they're on good tires. And they're four lug universal. So which means they can go on the variant. Those can fit on the variant. So many wheel options. I'm not sure what this is. I like the body kit though. Oh, it's a Fiat. With the body kit on it. You don't want eyelashes for your car? Probably not. Babe, the R32 needs eyelashes. Come look, let's come look at them. Got the full body kit on it. You, you can't see it on the R32? No. I can see it on the R32. And these skirts are very similar to mine on the Jetta. No, we're getting them for the car. Your car? No, for your car. Your car. The R is getting eyelashes. Yeah, I'm putting them on your car, Christian. And a little tassel for your, no. uh, for your antenna. The body kit is cool, though. Yeah, that's cool. Did us some mall shopping, some commissary shopping for some new breakfast foods and some dinner stuff. All right, before we end this video, Casey, tell me what you told me about the variant. Which one? The green one from today that oh, Alex it's called. it's already sold. It's already sold. Literally been up for like five hours and it's already gone. Well, I just thought I'd have, what's happening? Hello? You got snake pants on. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if I like so, them. Either way, the one I wanted today that I showed you guys in the vlog, Mint condition, literally gone within like five hours of it being up. So apparently I was not meant to have a variant, or at least not yet. The hunt continues. Okay, we're gonna end this one here. Man, I thought today, I thought that one I found was gonna be the one. It literally popped up like four hours ago. I had Alex call like immediately, and it's already sold. I, I just want a variant. Can I not have a variant? They all just fall through for some reason, but uh, I got a DM a little while ago from a guy named VW Anders uh, VW. He's over in Sweden. He's asked me what part of Germany am I, am I in. Uh, it's much easier to find a VR6 Synchro for a reasonable price in Sweden. And he sent in pictures of his Golf four-door VR6 Synchro that he got for 900 euros. And it's a full color concept yellow. I'll put the picture on the screen here. But he has the yellow and black cars inside. The full color concept car. So maybe I need to look in Sweden for a VR6 Synchro or just a variant in general. But like... I don't know, man. I've gone through every single day. I go through every single variant within a 500 kilometer radius of where we're at right now. And I keep seeing the same ones. And when a new one pops up, I check it out. But like, man, it's so hard to find one with low miles, good body work, good paint, and a decent engine. Cause I, re I really want to stick to a TDI or a VR6. I was going to take the 1.6 from that one today just because the body was so mint. But uh, I don't know. The hunt continues. If you see any cool uh, Golf 3 variants for sale in the Germany area, send them to me. I try to take my demon as much as possible, but man, I just, I just want one. <laughs> it's so saddening. Eventually, we'll get one. Eventually, we'll get one. Anyway, don't forget, be thankful for the day. See you guys next time. Peace.